Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another example video here in our beautiful C++ example series. Uh, what we're going to do today is just a really, really short introduction to function overloading. Since we've been talking about functions and, and all that good stuff for a little while now, uh, and I even mentioned function overloading a few times in the previous examples. Um, so yeah, we'll finally go through it, and it's really, really simple. Basically, if you remember, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the thing is, bros and girlettes is that uh, a function is defined by the return type and then the function name okay let me do this function name and then uh, type arg1 type uh, arg2 and etc etc as many parameters as you want in here all right this is and the function body okay uh, and the function body. Okay, <clears throat> so this is a function syntax, which means that any function that is the exact copy of this, if we have two exact the same functions, uh, it won't work. Okay, because the compiler computers are going to be complaining like you already defined that function why are you making another one that's exactly the same I'm gonna get confused I don't know which one to use right well as you can see the function name isn't the only thing that defines the function this type defines it and these especially the parameters define the function okay two different functions can have the same name but if they have the a different parameter list the computer will know, okay, he inputted this this time. This means that this function, I should use this function, even if they have the same name. And this differentiates them, all right? Return type, not so much, but these parameters here, they do. So that's the most important thing to know. So what if we just introduce this really quickly? So remember we had a simple addition function, int a and int b. So we can add two numbers together, and what's going to happen is that it's going to return a plus uh, b, right? Simple, really simple. But what if we say, hmm, well, I want to input doubles in here because we can't input something with a decimal in here, right? It will just turncate it. So if we want to input something like 1.5 plus 2.3, we can't do that here. It will take away the 0.5 and the 0.3, and it will just do 1 plus 2. Um, but what if we want that? But we don't want to have to make another function exactly with another name because if there's a different function here, we're going to have addition uh, one, two, and then we have a different function for it. We'll call it addition double or something 1.5, 2.3. Don't worry, we'll use these later. Uh, but we don't want to do this, right? We want the same name, like, so it's easier. So we don't have to make a bunch of different stuff. We, as as programmers, shouldn't have to uh, know, like, what the hell is going on in here, right? We just want to be able to use the same name and give it different input and get a different result, right? Just make it easy for ourselves. For example, in a game, you want to have one function called attack. You don't want to have to make attack 1, attack 2, attack 3, depending on the input, right? So... We want the same name. Is it possible? Hell yeah, it's possible. We'll make another one, okay? But here it's going to complain. Uh, if I try to run this, it's going to complain, okay? It's saying, like, you already defined it, already has a body, etc., etc. But what if we changed the parameter list? Okay, remember, this is something that defines the function. If it's different, this is a different function, right? This is a totally different function. It has the same name, but it's a totally different function, okay? So, if we do this, okay, if we did this, what's, what, what's going to happen here? Well, we got 3 and then 3.8. Well, how did it know? Well, just because we inputted two doubles in here. See? 0. 0.5. And that made sure that the computer knew which one of these to use. And here, we had the integers, so it knew which one to use. If I put... Uh, like if I if I change this to one and point two three, it's going to complain, right? Because it wants a double, so I'm gonna have to do one point zero. So it knows it knows which one it needs through the parameters that are inputted. So I hope you learned something today. We'll be using this a lot now. Uh, now that you know 
and in the next video we'll do a little more complicated like uh, program any type of calculator maybe or something I'll see um, but yeah we'll be using this and we're soon approaching classes and that's when our example video series is gonna explode because they'll excuse me then we can make like a gazillion examples uh, you can make all kinds of stuff with that so uh, that's what we're aiming for so thank you for watching stay tuned let's see I'll see you in the next video and I hope you have a great day alright so take care I'll see you later